What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You see, I'm getting set up here. Uh, if you saw the last, the video before the last video of the race, the video right before that, I installed the uh, heat exchanger and the uh, CWA150 pump. And uh, I wanted to change out these uh, bleed screws from 034 with billet ones which switches out the uh, factory plastic ones. But of course, uh, when I went to take one out, one of them broke. And I thought the other one was actually turning, but it wasn't. So I went to screw it out today and it actually broke the head of it. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, probably heat up a flathead and stick it in there and try to turn it. And I had uh, been spraying these with the uh, WD-40 to hopefully loosen them up some. But uh, besides that, what I'm going to do today is uh, I have the CWA-150 hooked up to the PWM. So it's not running 100%. And uh, when I tested the car, it uh, it ran pretty cool, but there's still times where you know, when I'm coming off a of boost and stuff that I was like, hey, you know, if the pump was running higher, you know, higher speed, it'll be putting more coolant through the system and coming down off of a temps cooler. So like, you know, if you're doing out drag racing or you're getting on boost hard, you know, your uh, intake temps are going to go up and they're going to get heat soaked. So... What I'm going to try is uh, I'm going to take the uh, PWM wire off of the pump. It's going to push the pin out. So that way it'll just be the ground and power wire. So the pump will be running at 100% all the time. But the only other thing is I don't know if it's going to be too much pressure. I don't think it will because I'm running a bigger HX. So the pump has a push pressure through all of that the pump has to overcome all that so the bigger hx to help out but i don't know if it's an issue or, or not to be honest with you because people run the cwa and i found uh some graphs of the cwa 50 the cwa 100 and the cwa 150 uh pump pressures their max pressures and i think the cwa is uh I think like 0 0.7 yeah, yeah 0 0.75 bar somewhere around there the cwa is uh like one bar but the cwa 150 is like uh i think it's 1.6 or 1 1.7 i think it's like 1.72 bar so it's up there it should be pushing a lot more fluid through the system which would be good but I just don't know if that might be too much pressure for the system like to run that all the time because it does, you know, go up to the full pressure once you like when you're on it hard on the freeway and you get in it, it's going to, you know, it's going to uh, pump up that pressure to push coolant through the system because the car knows it's getting hot. So I'm going to try that out today. And then also, uh, I found another company a while back, a little while back when I, you know, just before I got the pump and everything, I was doing research and everything, and I found a company online. They're overseas. They're called uh, Teco Motive, and they sell some of the pumps, and but they also made a controller for all the CWAs, and it looks like it controls the uh, fan speed also and the pump speed. And they have it to where it's controlled via uh, a temperature probe that you put in. So I'm still not sure how it works because the probe looks like it probes into the uh, coolant and not the intake. And we're looking for intake temps. So, but still, if you could get that control, it's like you can adjust it to when it comes on. And that might be something. So I'll probably reach out to them about that. But if not, uh, I'll probably uh, look into uh, just putting a switch on this one, maybe. But if it runs at 100% well, I'll probably just leave it like that, let it run at 100% just 
without problems. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get out here after I, you know, put the screws in. I'll, I'll pull the wire so it's running 100%. I'll get out and do some runs and then I'll have you guys in the car with me. You know, I'll film like the, uh, the intake temps to see what they were compared to last time. So... I'm about to do that and then I'm going to put the uh I'm going to put the graph up on screen now and the other company and then I'll get back with you guys after I put everything in. All right you guys, I got the screws in. See right there and bled the system. Uh, I pulled the PWM and uh, one thing I noticed is that if you turn the key on or open the door, the pump runs for about like 45, 50 seconds, then it shuts off. But if you have the uh, ignition on, it's just going to keep running. So I don't know if the uh, CWA is being wired like that. They they probably do the same thing, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm about to get out here and do a little test drive, and we'll see how it runs with like that. All right, you guys, I'm back. Uh, see, it's like 57 degrees. Got later. I'm at like at what 84. So. I'm about to get on the freeway and uh, do a few pulls and see what happens. One thing I noticed is that, uh, I think I said it earlier about how the pump stays, you know, comes on for a few seconds. Look, well, like I said, like 60 seconds like when like if the key is on key is on off or on once you open the door you know the pump comes on then it shuts off after like 60 seconds if the key you know if the ignition is on this is gonna it's gonna stay on then uh i think i said already too uh that I put my hand on the pump, you really can't, even though it's run at 100%, supposedly, uh, you can't hear it run at all. It's, it's, a, it's a really quiet pump, unless it's run at 100%, and even at 100%, you have to really listen to it. You'll hear kind of like of a, you know, like a little buzz kind of like a, like a little ringing buzz noise so and then I did you know I've been I did drive it around a little bit earlier but I had to stop and do something else so I got on it hard earlier and uh, drove it around some more and uh, was trying to bleed air off the system and felt the hoses they don't feel like they have excessive pressure at all in it like I said, the pump, it's like hard to tell if it's running unless you really, you know, have everything else off and you can listen to the pump, you'll hear it. But you have to be kind of like by, have your, you know, head in the area so you can hear it. And then another thing I did to confirm was uh, I grabbed the holes that was right over it. And uh, I grabbed the holes that was right over it and I, I had to squeeze it to feel the fluid pumping. So it's not like it's pumping out excessive pressure. And then I felt the hoses, uh, the two cooling hoses, right by the uh, front of the supercharger too, same thing. I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't squeeze enough to feel it, feel the pump running or nothing, but it was no excessive pressure or anything. But, uh, you know, right now it's staying like around 20 degrees above ambient. I noticed earlier I was getting on it pretty hard and uh, the temps will go up and then it'll kind of sit at around 30, de 30 degrees above ambient. 
but it was like a high 70s earlier so that probably had something to do with it too and then like you know i think i still got uh air in my system too so there's a lot of cars on the freeway so i'm not gonna be able to do like a hard hard pull but one thing i did notice earlier too is that i did some hard pulls and i was trying to confirm because one thing i noticed was uh on hard pulls always it was only getting up to like uh like 126 whereas before it was getting up to like uh like 160 on a hard pull then it would drop down once i got off of it but when i switched over to the pump to this pump i think you saw in the last video it was getting up to like uh 140 something something like that and the thing about that was that that temp I was getting was earlier when it was warmer so but one thing I noticed was it was doing it consistent and I had to do like uh, about five pulls to finally to get it to go up to like 150 but it would only do that like if I stayed on you know stayed on it hard for a while as soon as I got off of it the temps would start coming back down so seems pretty good let me see if we try to get on it right now See, usually, right, even on a, a short pull like that, the temps would just shoot up real quick and then come back down. So now it's like it's not getting as hot, and I'm guessing it's because that fluid is moving through the system a lot more. So it's combating that heat. See, there we go, 128. And that's kind of what it was doing earlier. So, and then sometimes I notice, like, see how it's like staying in the 90s right now? It would do that, and then it would drop down. But if I got out and feel everything, it's like the pump is like cold. It's not even really warm at all. And the, uh, the heat exchanger also so that's one thing i noticed Try to get over here. yeah it's too many cars out y'all and i don't want to keep chancing it because it's around thanksgiving so you know highway patrols are going to be out <laughs> Try to go to Mexico, but I'm making that drive right now. I'm gonna turn around and I get right back with y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. Uh, so, uh, like I said, one thing I noticed is that running at 100% when I get on it, like a hard pull, the intake is not heating, the intake air is not getting as hot as it was before because more of that cooling is going through and uh, taking away the heat. So that's one thing I noticed. And uh, But the other thing I noticed, like, you know, once it gets warmer, you know, of course, uh, the coefficient between the two is gonna be less, you know, because it's uh, hotter outside intake air, air temps. So it's not like it's gonna be always be like, uh, 20 degrees above ambient it fluctuates and once it gets warmer outside it might start getting to like 30 degrees above ambient and then fluctuate from there going down and up so you know there's that and uh i think the other thing on my car my car is at what 96,000 miles it just hit 96,000 miles so this car's intercoolers have 96,000 miles of oil caked up on the top of them. 
from uh, you know from the air intake a little bit of oil comes through so you know it's not running as efficient well it's not taking away as much heat as efficient as it would if they were clean so that's probably one thing I'm gonna do next because I do want to take this charger off and clean the coolant bricks and change the uh, charger oil so I might be doing that soon and also I do have a whole nother uh, supercharger because I want to port one out I have a little bit of experience with uh, doing some porting work so I'm gonna uh, look into porting the charger myself I was thinking about sending it to jokers so they could do it because they have a C they they have a CNC program that they poured it with. So I might be looking into that. But uh, short video. Uh, I think the only other person that's running the CWA 150 is Cameron Purser of C7 Owners. You can check out his channel. He's a you know big time YouTuber as far as the uh, C7 cars. Uh, he has a lot of good info on the C7. So if you got a C7, definitely go check out his channel. He has a lot of good detailed information. Does a lot of research too. But uh, he's running one, and I've been talking to him about you know trying to exchange a little bit of information with him about you know how this is going so far. So. Uh, I'm gonna look into looking into VCDS to see like uh, how this thing is actually running. Like if it, you know, if it's actually 13.5 volts or whatever it is, if it's always at that or not, because it says that's when it's pushing that pressure, that max pressure. So I'll see if that's fluctuating or not, and then go from there, and then. Like I said, I'll talk to uh, Tech Motive to see about their controller, maybe even look into making my own controller, talking to one of the companies out here about making one. But uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I know it's kind of boring, but I just want to give a little bit of update and get some information out there. Maybe someone else is uh, looking into it. You know, we all put our heads together and uh, get some stuff going for this motor but happy thanksgiving everybody hope you guys enjoyed your holiday enjoy your families and uh i'll see you guys in the next video leave a like comment and subscribe thanks for watching